Hello and welcome to my tutorial. I will be covering everything you need and want to know about the Hopog HD PVR in seven simple sections. To skip to any specific section, click the area that interests you. Hey guys, welcome to the first part of the tutorial. The uh, first thing that I'm going to go over are some general facts, some installation on the Hopog, and the device settings that you're going to be using on the recorder. Now the first thing you need to do is install the software. So put in your disk that you got with your Hopog, go into the removable storage disk drive, Click Explore if you're on Vista, otherwise you should just be able to open it. Now you want to open TME, which is Total Media Extreme, and install it using the setup. That should be all you have to do. Um, you might have to install some other things in here like DirectX, and you might have to go through the setup for what's in the disk. That will be your program that you use. Now the first time that you load it up, you'll have something like this and it'll ask for an update. Go through the update. Then click to rec now. This is the part where get where you have to really pay attention. Rec you have to click record video that goes into your capture module. Now you have to make sure video input is set to YPRPB or whatever input you're using. If you bought the Hapag, you're probably using component video, which is the YPRPB. Now make sure that if you have multiple devices for your computer that you're using the Hopog HD PVR capture device. I have a few internal capture cards that I had to take out because they wouldn't work. Um, once you disable those, you click refresh, which I didn't need to do. Um, down here, you have it says PlayStation 3, AVC HD, and Xbox 360. I always use the PlayStation 3 uh, preset. The 360 preset doesn't work for me. It doesn't matter what you're using. As you can see, my 360 is showing up. And for save format, use M2TS, it's the best compression and the best quality. Save to, you want to save to somewhere that you have a big hard drive space to send it to. Device settings will never matter. Those are things like saturation and sharpness, they don't change no matter what you do to them. Format settings is where you need to pay attention though. First thing you want to do is for bitrate, constant bitrate. Now this should be a no-brainer. You set it as high as it can go. If you're having problems and it's skipping, you're going to have to set it a little bit lower because that's just the way the Hopog works. It's, it takes a decent computer to run consistently. Um, the rest of these set Luma and Chroma to zero. They will default at three. So you do want to turn those down and will improve your quality quite a bit. And the rest of this you can leave as the default. Click apply and you should be good to go. Now keep in mind that the Hapag needs at least a dual core processor, at least I believe 256 megabits or megabytes or whatever it is on your video card for memory and you need at least two gigs of RAM. So if your computer doesn't meet those specs, you're not going to be able to run this at all, and, you're de and if you're barely meeting those specs, you're definitely not going to be able to record at full quality. And we're getting into the second part of this tutorial, and I'm going to go over very quickly over a few programs that can instantly import files after being captured with the Hapag, and a few things you should know about recording. I'm going to start with the things you should know about recording. Make sure you have everything turned off that you're not using, applications, web browsers, games, just make sure they're off, or else you're going to get some times where your uh, where your Hapag freezes. Th those, that's something you should know though. You know, if you ever have anything turned on that shouldn't be on, just turn it off. Another thing you should know is this program called Game Booster. Go Google it if you find your computer running slow when you're recording. It's a very straightforward program. It turns off everything you don't need. Now like I said, there are a few programs that instantly import any clip you have. Um, the three that I know of are Sony Vegas 9.0 Pro, Sony Vegas 8.0 C Pro, and Adobe After Effects. Uh, I cannot help you get these programs, but if you decide to get them, I would suggest getting Vegas 9 and Adobe uh, Adobe After Effects. As you can see, as I import a clip, this was recorded directly from my Hophog. You get it in here, it imports instantly, and everything runs very smoothly, even when I'm recording. That's not that smooth. Switch it down to preview. You can see it running you know, at viewable quality, you know, 30 to 40 frames per second. The third section of this tutorial is going to cover Sony Vegas and a few things that you should know about the program if you're working with HD clips. If you don't work with Sony Vegas, you might as well skip to the next part of this tutorial. We're going to open Vegas, and the first thing I want to go over is the property settings. Uh, make sure that you're using an HD template, and you want to adjust a few things. Make sure it's on progressive field order, 1280 by 720. 60.0006 is the frame rate that the Hapag records at. You can do anything, you know, 59 to 61 basically. Pixel format set to 32-bit floating point full range. And uh, make sure the deinterlace method is set to none. And the pixel format, uh, pixel aspect ratio is set to 1.00. You click apply 
uh, and you save it. I have it saved as my startup custom template. Click OK. And uh, a couple things that you're going to want to know about working with HD clips is that the pre you want to set your preview window to preview instead of best because you will get a much cleaner picture. You'll get 40 frames per second even on a not that great computer like mine. Another thing you should know, if you highlight a certain area and you click Shift and B, you will RAM preview what you're doing. It'll allow you to see fades, effects, and your general video much cleaner. It helps a lot with transitions and effects like I just said. It's definitely something you should know when you're editing. And we're at the fourth section of this tutorial which will cover rendering in Sony Vegas. So if you do not use Sony Vegas, again, skip to the next section or to a different section entirely. First thing you're going to have to do, obviously, is open up Sony Vegas, go to Render As. There are four ty file types that I want to go over. WMV, uh, MP4, Sony AVC, uh, Lossless AVI, and how to use MPEG-2 to create the ultimate uh, editing file. The first one we're going to go over is the simplest. Windows for uh, Go to Video for Windows, AVI, go to Custom, go to the Video Format for... I'm sorry, pick the default template uncompressed, uh, make sure it's 1280 by 720, 59 frames per second, uh, set the field order to none, field uh, pistol, pick, wow, pixel aspect ratio to one, and you should be good with everything, set the project settings the best, and that's it for that. That will create a humongous file that keeps the quality that the last video, that the video you imported had. It's pure quality but it's a humongous file size. I'm talking 10 gigs for two minutes. The next one that I want to go over, I'm just going to go over WMV and a, and Sony AVC MP4 at the same time. Uh, we're going to go over the MP4 first. Uh, first thing you want to do is just pick a template, go to custom, uh, set the video format to AVC, custom frame size to 1280 by 720, set the profile to baseline, set the entropy coding to CABAC, the frame rate to 59, you're going to have to type that in, either 59.94 or 60. And um, field order to progressive, pixel aspect ratio to 1, and you're going to want to set the bit rate to whatever you're recording. So if you're using a hop hog, this should be 13,500, 13,500,000 uh, 13, bits per second. Now if, you're use, if you decide to go with uh, WMV, it's going to be very similar, um, only you're not going to have to pick the video format and the bitrate will be in megabits so it's just going to be 13.5 m uh, which will be in a bitrate section that you'll see on the tabs uh, for system on AVC make sure that you're using MP4 and for the project set it the best now the last one that I want to go over is literally the ultimate editing file type that you can render in if you're sending your clips to somebody you want to render them into this because they will love you it plays at 60 frames per second in Vegas it's good quality it's not the best quality but it's pretty good uh, pick the HDV template and uh, just for time sake I'm gonna go down to what I use and uh, that would be here you want to pause the video here look at what I have and set your MPEG-2 settings to this um, Nothing else matters except for the video section. Everything else is just default. But for video, pause the video, pay attention, copy this. And the fifth section of this tutorial is going to help you get the best possible quality out of your HOPOG. It is going to use, we're going to go over the H.264 or X.264 uh, video encoding process. Now, rather than go through this with you guys in this video, I'm going to link to two videos and a third way that you can get this done. The top option which is the blue annotation is a link to a video that allows you to put the X264 codec in your Sony Vegas. Now this doesn't always work, it doesn't work for me, but it gets you great quality, great compression and it's very fast. The section option is what I use and it's very very complicated, it's very, it takes, it's a long process but it gets you great quality, great compression, it, it's the same thing as the top option but it's for people who can't get the first option to work. And if you check the description, if you don't like video explanations, um, in the description I have a link to the topic that explains what the second video is, essentially. I mean, it's not word for word, but it's the same idea and it will get the same results. So make sure to check out both of those videos and the description if you are interested in getting the best possible quality out of your HAPOG. For the sixth part of this tutorial, 
we are going to go over how to compress your videos and files into a folder and how to send it to editors and just send it on to other sites in general. This doesn't necessarily apply to the Hapag, but it's a commonly asked question, how do I get multiple files into a folder and upload the folder to a site? Well, you can't upload a folder to a site. You need a program called WinAce or WinRAR or 7-Zip or WinZip. There's multiple different programs. You can find this in the description. I have the download for it set up for you. Uh, after you download it, you are going to go to your folder that you want to send to somebody else. You click on, you right click on it and you click add to archive. When you do that, it'll bring up a window like this. Set the compression method to best. Pick either RAR or ZIP, it doesn't matter. The person who you send this to will have to have the same program as you. Click OK, it'll finish moderately fast and upload it to a site and you're good to go.